There's no one right way to go through grief. And for some people, a kind of withdrawal might be what they actually want to do. It sounds like what you're describing is maybe you wouldn't even have wanted the withdrawal, but you kind of felt like you needed to because you were afraid of your contagious emotion, negative emotions. But I do want to be clear, like for anybody who's listening, that there's no one right way to grieve and everybody's going to do it differently. So part of it is just figuring out what, what do you need at a given moment. I think it's also helpful for people to know uh, there's research by uh, George Bonanno at Columbia. He's a, a grief researcher. And he's actually found that humans really are way more emotionally resilient than we think we are. We have been bereaved for as long as we have existed. And so we kind of know how to do it. For most people, they may mourn their lost beloved forever, but they also move forward at the same time, ultimately. There is a subset of people who go through what, what he calls chronic grief, where it really doesn't subside at all. But for the vast majority of people, it does. There's a great formulation that comes from the, the writer Nora McKinnerney, who lost her husband when she was still a young woman. She says that she kept feeling like she was getting this message from people around her that she should like move on and get over it. Move on, move on, move on. But she came up with a different way of doing that, which was not to move on, but to move forward. And the distinction is, you know, she she did go on to remarry and now has a blended family with the child she had had with her first husband and and her new husband's child. But she says her lost husband is still with her. And the person that she is today, she is who she is because of that relationship she had had. So she's not leaving behind that person. She's not leaving behind her grief. She's moving forward with it. And I think that that's a much more palatable way for most of us to handle our losses because it's getting away from the false dichotomy, I think, that that uh, our culture asks of us, which is like, you know, detach completely, move on, be done. Instead, carry your past with you, even as you're embracing the future. I think that that's a, a healthier approach for most of us. Mm -hmm. 